can you use fonts and text in vector repeat pattern designs for sale on different micro stock and print on demand websites. So uh, in this particular video, I'm going to share uh, my experience and research about using text in uh, repeat pattern design, surface pattern designs, just like this summer pattern you see here. My name is Oksantia. I am a textile designer with uh, more than 13 years of experience uh, creating vector repeat patterns and illustrations and selling them online. I have more than 10,000 uh, vector illustrations and repeat patterns for sale currently. So here is what I recommend for you to consider when using text in your illustrations. So first of all, this is the illustration I created specifically for this video based on my older illustration. So I'll show you that this was a very simple pineapple pattern I created last year. And uh, for the sake of this video, I uh, used fonts and text and some simple geometric uh, element to add some uh, extra interest and change up this pattern uh, and talk about the text and fonts. So this is basically, if I delete uh, for a second, this is how the fonts and the little elements look. Okay, so first of all, the first rule is you need to download free for commercial use fonts from Font Squirrel and save licensed documents that come with your font. So you need to have a folder and organize all of those licensed documents. And I will show you what I mean uh, in a minute. And Font Squirrel is not the only website, it's just the one that I use and I am not affiliated with them uh, in any way. Just the long time user of their fonts. I like their fonts. And um, basically, you can use the fonts from there or find another reputable website with free for commercial use fonts uh, on the internet as well as you can use Adobe Illustrator fonts I will link down below an article where they say that you can use their fonts uh, when you outline them correctly and uh, what I mean by outlining is that you need to convert your fonts into outline so into simple shapes as if your word from a font based uh, element like this let me click on something so if i click on this summer and zoom in you will see that this is not a shape it is a text it's a vector text and uh, all of them are like this so on summer uh, on this green summer word is easier to see you see this red stripe down it means that this is not a shape this is a shape you see the outlines of that path this is not a shape it's a text so we need to outline that text let me select, select all of the shapes and everything and then go to type over here on top in your adobe illustrator menu and go to create outlines here click and you see that they, uh, the fonts, the uh, all of the fonts uh, and text switched to outlined shapes. So they look exactly the same now. But when I click, there is a big, big, thick um, uh, outline. This is what I mean, and this is what is needed for Microsoft. Now that we outlined all of our text, you can see that all of them are outlined now. We'll exit and make it smaller a little bit for you guys. And um, now this illustration changed. You see that there are thick outlines everywhere. My recommendation for you guys is to save your unexpanded font file. So pattern that would be let's undo. Okay, so please save a file which is with unedited text and also let's go edit, redo and save a file with outlined text or expanded text. You also can go to object, expand, expand appearance two times, click on this on the expand appearance and then on expand two times. And this will be the same effect. So it is basically expanded or outlined fonts. And in this kind of uh, view, save both of these versions. So that's big, big tip for you guys. Save both of them because you might want to change something later on. And the last tip is you can use Lauren Ipsum 
placeholder text. Lorem Ipsum, you can look it up. It's a placeholder text common for uh, different designs. And in patterns, it's not very common, but if you're making an illustration or a greeting card with your pattern or a frame out of your pattern, you can use some Lorem Ipsum text. It's uh, allowed in uh, selling your patterns online. So the uh, I wanted to show you last thing super quick is I wanted to go into them uh, my the fun squirrel website and here you can see that if I undo one more time okay so if I undo delete this for you guys and if I go into this text over here e, okay and click on character here you can see that this is Pacifico regular font okay when I go to a font squirrel, this is the Pacifico font. And here you can see that this font is uh, free license. This free license allows you to use this font for commercial graphics and documents and also for other free for other purposes. So all of these icons mean that this font is uh, allowed. And the other one font that I used is called Playfair Display and it also has the same icons here. So again, it's allowed to use in commercial graphics and documents. So this is what I wanted to show you. And then you would go in here and you would download TTF and save it to your computer as along with the license uh, file. All right, you guys. So uh, of course you cannot submit this kind of pattern sticking out everywhere. I just wanted to show you guys. So I left it, ev everything sticking out. The, everything has to be trimmed to submit to Microstock websites. Please refer to cropping uh, patterns uh, video on my channel so you know how to crop them, but your vector patterns. But I uh, just wanted to show you that you need to submit a pattern that looks like this and it's let me just uh, okay so basically everything needs to be cropped carefully this is a mask that i created but all of the shapes need to be cropped not masked so this mask is just for uh, the purposes of explanation for this video so make sure you check out how to crop your vector patterns for sale on microstock and print on demand websites uh, all right, you guys, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and you got helpful tips on how to incorporate uh, text and fonts into your uh, repeat pattern designs in Adobe Illustrator for sale on Microstock and print on demand websites. And I am hoping that you got uh, all the creative juices flowing with combining your artwork together with uh, text and fonts and uh, you can also use your own hand lettered uh, words and text. I do not do that very often, but it is definitely a fun uh, thing to do for your uh, creative uh, projects that include your own hand lettered uh, fonts and hand lettered uh, text. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial about using fonts and text in vector patterns for sale. And I hope you have your creative juices flowing and uh, you will go and create amazing patterns combining your artwork and text or maybe just text based patterns. Uh, I wish you a great creative week. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Uh, leave me a comment what you want, uh, what topics you want me to create next. And also subscribe to my channel to uh, get notified whenever I do a live Q&A video and uh, whenever I publish a new video as well. Have an awesome, awesome creative time of day or night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!